The measure of a man can be defined in his life's work. Excellence is often equated with winning. John Gallardi won more games than any coach in college football history, 489. He coached for 60 years at St. John's University, a Division III Benedictine college in Minnesota, where he won four national championships. But not all merits are measured by numbers. There is no statistical value for virtue or integrity. In 1953, he came to St. John's, a 26-year-old head coach, a simple man with a simple message. The only advice I'd say, treat everybody the way you'd like to be treated. That's what, that's, I, I said that to my players over and over, year in and year out. He taught that football wasn't everything. Football is a stepping stone to something more important. You know, your, li your life, your family, your friends. That's true. I think that was uh, his philosophy. He didn't expect that you're going to go play in the pros, but he did expect that you're gonna be good men. First day of my freshman year, he took a dime out of his pocket and held it up to the sun. He said, that dime is football and that sun is your education. Don't get him confused. And part of that was the respect for the human being and the whole notion that he was interested in your whole life. And it's because of the, uh, the value system that the Benedictines have instilled at St. John's. I think the players responded to that. just trying to do the right thing. And that's really the only rule I ever had with him, the golden rule. Gallardi preached personal accountability. In practice, he eliminated anything deemed unnecessary, an unorthodox approach he called winning with no's. We didn't have any blocking sleds, no dummies, um, you know, no whistles, uh, no cows. Probably the most radical was no tackling in practice. People say, how can you possibly do that? There were so many injuries in practice that it would hurt us in game time. So all we would work on in practice is defeating the blocking scheme, getting the proper pursuit, all the kind of things mental, you might say. We were always very well prepared and uh, fundamentally sound, and those are the things that are gonna win a lot of football games. His principles proved basic yet effective. In 1963, St. John's won its first national championship, and another in 1965. In 1976, Gallardi won his third. He was revered as a coaching icon, yet to his players, he was still John. I don't think I've ever heard him, you know, anyone's ever called him coach. You know, I've heard it a couple of times and, you know, he'll just say, no, I'm John. He was John. He's always been John. Um, from the day one, he's been John. So if you have a question, call him John. We have a lot of guys on our team, 180 or so guys come out for the team. There's only 22 spots for starters. But every one of those kids is made to feel important on the team. And that's one of the legacies that John's left. He is a community person, and that's really what St. John's is built on, is a community, this, that spirit. The neighborhood kids would, would always want him to play, um, they, you know, because he'd, he'd play with us. And at that time, we're talking early 70s, you know, dads were just that going to work, bringing home the salaries, and he was all about family time. Family life and coaching life became one and the same as son Jim joined the team as a player and later as an assistant coach. In 2003, father and son stood side by side to witness history. Elliott split left, Regelman to the right side, split back to the backfield, Keating under center, five step drop, back to pass, into the flat, Nelson the catch at the six, to the five, to the four, dives, touchdown Johnny's! John Gallardi's 409th career game, history made here today. People ask me how it's done, and well, talent, and luck, and prayers. Thanks very much. Yeah! The times changed, but the man did not. John Gallardi held on, and he kept winning. John Gallardi trying to win his fourth national championship in in first since 1976, and St. John's 
eschewing the uh, field goal opportunity. Now the 14th play of this drive. And they swing it out to Tice. Tice needs some blocks downfield, and he gets wow. into the end zone for the wow. touchdown. Burkhart for Nap, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Mike Sahar, and he is going to go. St. John's pulling off this upset, a 100-yard interception return for the Johnnies. So John Gallardi, for the fourth time, is a national champion. It's hard for me to believe I'm married to him. <laughs> he's, he's done so many things so well. After 70 years in coaching, John Gallardi retired. In 2013, at 86 years old, he watched a St. John's game from the stands for the very first time. Yet, John Gallardi was surrounded by his team. John, oh God, I can't get out of this chair. Let me give you, good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You doing good? Good to see you. It's only the best back we ever had here. Billy, Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. John, how are you? Good, good to see you. There were things we didn't realize then that you taught us that that are bigger than those things we learned on the field. That makes me proud that I had touched their lives, hopefully for the best. John Gallardi, he leaves the game a coaching legend. And to his players, he will simply be remembered as a saint. <laughs>